Shadow Legends. What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here, and wasn't that a sweet opening sequence? Let me tell you about it. So, um, it is the Versolf Fusion today, and it is also 2X Ancients, okay? Now, I have gotten some Ancient Shards, and just in case you're watching this video and you want some information, I will tell you that, okay, wait a second. 11 hours and 11 minutes if you know anything about me i'm obsessed with the number 11. just for reference this offer here is actually worse than the chained offer string you end up with seven more ancient shards and only like 50 less gems i think so it it's uh neither of them are great but in case you are in the market for some ancient shards today for this fusion i have provided you with the information for science guys for science so we have 61 ancient shards if we don't get a legendary i am prepared to use a little bit of gems um so that we can get points for the fusion and have a very nice video for you guys do I have room? Yes, I have room. I thought I made room, but it's always good to check. Now, people always ask me, what legendaries am I interested in? Well, actually, we've crossed off three different champions off the list recently. But you can see here, and I always get asked about Bistifus, and he should probably come off the list, but like, I wouldn't be too upset to pull him um, just to try him out in Faction Wars. Uh, I think he's okay. Obviously, he's not the best, but like just in terms of legendaries that exist in the game, he's one that I would probably build just to mess around with. Uh, but at the top of my list would be Kaimar. And if you've seen the video last week, you know that Valkyrie is the number one champion on my list, okay? Still, obviously, a lot of uh, legendary champions that are void on this list. Um, but plenty that I would love to have on my account. I need to add Lady Kimi in there. I think she's a wonderful champion. I would love to have her. Um, I need to add... Um, who is the other one that I need to add? Let's, let's hide this. And we'll hop right over to Shadowkin real quick. Um, I'm just, I want to collect all the Shadowkin legendaries because I have such a good start. Noble, I think would be really fun to mess around with because of his passive here. I find that very interesting. Uh, I'm not going to say he's the best champion, but he is pretty interesting looking. So if I could get either of the two Shadowkin, then I could run all five legendaries for that faction, which, I mean, who doesn't want to do that, right? But, uh, you know, um... At this point, any new champion is a win for me. Any new champion. And there are actually a bunch of epic champions that I don't have, like Geomancer that I would love to mess around with. Um, I can't think of the other epics. Oh, Buringuri was part of the 10X last weekend, and I could not pull him. I pulled 20 epics, not a single one of him. Um, so Buringuri, um, Karagi... There, there's like a handful of epics that I would love to mess around with that I do not have on my account currently. So even those epics are a win, but a non-dupe legendary would also be a win. Let's go ahead and pull the single pull. First one! Oh, Basilius, that's insane. But Basilius is the silliest. Okay, he's just not good. So here's the thing, okay? If this was more than 75%, like if this was 100% to AoE stun, like Astralon, then okay. Decreases each target's turn meter by 50% if it's not placed. So, like, it seems like he would be okay, but he's not, okay? Now, this one does a little bit of damage, okay? 
And this one, 80% chance of stealing a random buff from a target. That's actually a pretty good A1. 100% chance to steal a buff. Like, I really like the A1. But the problem is his A3. Okay, his A3. Also, he suffers from being in High Elves because there's so many good High Elves. If he was in another faction, people would probably like him more. Like, if he was in Knight's Revenant, I'd be telling everybody to build him. Everybody, because that AoE stun, even though it's not 100%. Okay, so, wow, first shard, jeez. I mean, now we're just hoping for another one. Jeez. Oh, right there! No! <laughs> War Mother number five. I mean, that's crazy in back-to-back -back pulls. All right, let's move on quickly. War Mother number five. Polarium, please, dupe system. When? Now. Ultimate Gallic. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is pretty hilarious, though. Please laugh at my struggles. That's the reason why I make content. So you can see me mess with my eye 20 times in one video. And also pull five War Mothers. I mean, honestly. Honestly. Old Hermit Jorg, very underrated epic. A lot of people I know use him and like him. Very good. And what, we have like one or two more ten pulls? Oh my goodness, this is the ridiculous. Well, not that many epics here, which for 2x is pretty disappointing. Rockbreaker, Romero, I think this is the last one, and then I'll probably buy gem. I'll probably use a couple gems. Rockbreaker, again. Delver, one of the worst epics in the game. All right, and should we pull our Sacred Shards? I think we should save them, so I would much rather... I would much rather grab a couple of these. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea, and I should save my gems, but honestly, I only use my gems for Masteries and Shards. That's just how I do it on my account, okay? Um... <laughs> I'm not trying to say that that's necessarily the best, most efficient way to play the game. I'm just saying that's the way I play the game. Most of you should probably save your gems for energy. But I dislike doing that. So, oh my goodness, my eye is really bothering me. Our, our, we got two legendaries. Can we get one more? Okay, Caden is a top tier epic, actually. I oh, He's my go-to for that faction. Miscreated Monster, Blood Feather. Obviously, Miscreated Monster is crazy good. Blood Feather, not so much. Last 10 pull. Can we get one more? I mean, a third legendary would be pretty insane. Kalia, Excruciator are both terrible. Bogoth is alright. Bogoth is alright. Alright. Let's see where we're at. No, I don't need to power up a single one of those champions. They're all chickens. You guys want to know why I have so many chickens on my account? Well, the reason why is because I pull shards every weekend and I pull all of these terrible champions. So when I come over here and people always ask me, uh, how do you have so many chickens? It's because I never spend them. I just use the, all those champions that I pull as chickens. All the dupe epics I use as chickens. I, don't, I save dupe legendaries because, you know. All right, we're going to pull the two sacred shards as well. Maybe we can... We're getting close to pity. Oh! Okay. Okay. Black Knight is a new champion. I can't complain about that too much, okay? Will I build him? I don't know. Okay, he has an AoE. Damage increases according to the number of HP he's lost. Continuous heal, increased defense. Is actually a really good on a two-turn cooldown, but I would probably not book this, and I would run him in clan boss if you need that. And then he has a Provoke on his A1, so he seems like a great champion for the Magma Dragon. 
yeah especially in a relentless set maybe or if you're using a counterattack masteries counterattack champions and then his his passive is really nice as well places the unkillable buff on himself two turn cooldown yeah, I think he'd be really good in Relentless against the Magma Dragon. And I know he's good in the faction as well if you need help there. Let's pull one more. Why not? Alright, we got an Epic. And it's Nazana. I think she's pretty underrated. She puts this shield, or excuse me, AoE decrease attack. And over here she puts the shield and the um, ally protection. But it's 40% of her max HP. So, like, it's a pretty thick shield. Anyway, <laughs> did we get to it? Did we get to it? We did. Okay. I like maxing out the left row. I mean, if you have the resources to do so, because that's how I get my legendary books, just being honest with you. I am in first place as well. Um... I don't know, I just feel like pulling two Void Shards. There's no reason. There's no reason other than I feel like it. I mean, we've gotten three Legendaries already. Scrapper, I think, would actually be really good on an early game account. I was thinking about that. Okay, uh, Reliquary Tender, one of the best rares in the game. And Cold Heart to end the video. Very nice. Sweet Cold Heart. I don't think I want to build a second Cold Heart, but now I have that option if I were to choose. Okay, we're doing well. 75 Fragments on Versolf. He's worth getting. There's lots of Fragments available. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, we did not cross anyone off of our list. We memed it up today, guys. But that's okay. Black Knight is a new champion, so that's a win. But I'm not sure that I should build him on my account. Do you think there's a use for him for me? Um, let me know. And uh, either way, I hope you enjoyed my struggles. I have some chickens to go level up for this uh, champion training event. I will. Uh, I'll probably. Um, I'll probably just level up the chickens for the next champion I want to level up. And then I will leave it alone, since I didn't get anyone in particular that I'm super excited about leveling. I hope you guys had as good of luck as I did, except different legendaries. If you could get three legendaries in the amount of shards I pulled today, that would be a huge win. And uh, I wish that for you. So good luck on your pulls. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.